Kevin, will you help me with the dishes? As soon as this is over. The dishes need to be done now. Why? Excuse me? Why do they have to be done right this second? Because this is when I always do the dishes. Well, why does everything always have to operate on your schedule? Because I'm the one who does everything around here. That's why it's done on my schedule. Well, it looks like the preliminaries are out of the way, and this fight is set to get started. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Fight Night. I'm your host, Jim Fields, and sitting with me ringside, as always, is Trip Greenberg. Trip, how's this fight shaping up for you tonight? Perfectly, Jim. It all started as a simple fight over the dishes, but I can guarantee you it won't stay there. These two fighters have been picking at each other all week, and the fight we're about to see is a long time coming. How do you feel about these contenders, Trip? Oh, these two are a couple up-and-comers on the fight circuit. Kevin's a real bruiser who can take a hit and keep on coming. So you're giving Kevin the advantage. Oh, not so fast, Trip. I've been watching fights for too long to count Amy out. She's got the quickness on her side. Quick mind, quick tongue. She'll definitely give Kevin a run for his money. And what about weaknesses? Oh, that's where this fight truly gets interesting. You see, Kevin never learned to deal with his emotions in a controlled way. So instead, he bottles them up inside and lets them erupt at inappropriate times. And as for Amy, she's been emotionally scarred by every male relationship from her past all the way back to her father. She carries that emotional baggage with her to this day. So don't be surprised if that comes out. And there's the bell. This fight's underway. I was just asking for a little help. But you know what? Do whatever you want. I don't care. Amy, starting off with classic passive aggression. Some think she uses this too early in the fight. Let's see how it pays off. Like I ever get to do what I want. Beautiful counter. So you think this is what I want to be doing right now? Amy, going on the defensive. Well, cooking and cleaning for you is not exactly a dream come true for me. It comes back with a huge hit. So what, you think my job is all flowers and sunshine? Well, I don't like it either, but it's what I have to do. Well, so it's my fault that you don't like your job. That's not what I'm saying. I have my job for our marriage. Oh, so since you have a job, I'm the one who has to take care of everything around here. Is that the way it is? Well, I bring home the money, you take care of the home. That's the deal! Kevin going old school with that swing. So you just view me as your maid! Why not? You just view me as your ATM! Well, it's getting ugly out there. You know what? You don't even seem to care that I'm miserable at my job just as long as I bring home a paycheck. Well, you don't care if I'm miserable at home as long as I keep making you dinner! Both make very valid points, Trip. Oh, trust me, Jim. Neither one of these two is listening at this point. Oh, you think it's so easy being me? Well, why don't you just try it? You can do the cooking, you can do the cleaning, you can do the shopping. You wouldn't last one minute trying to take care of anyone other than yourself. Amy, backing Kevin into a corner. Great idea, Amy. While I'm here, why don't you go out and get a job that can support a family? Oh. Kevin, winding up for something big. Oh, I know why you don't. Because you never finished college, you don't have any skills, and no one would ever hire you. Quite frankly, Amy, I think you're lucky that anyone was willing to marry you and support you. Well, there it is, folks. The knockout punch. And it looks like, yes, yes, Amy is down for the count. She will not be recovering from this one. Your thoughts, Trip? Complete shock, Jim. I knew Kevin had it in him, but I never thought he'd throw that punch. I mean, that wasn't a knockout move. That was an obliteration move. Too true. They say it's all fair in love and war. But when you're warring with the one you love, you have to ask yourself, at what point, at what cost, do you go for victory? <laughs>